Hello, my name is Kylie, and welcome to Ancient History, the Ancient Chinese, Part 1. In this video, you will learn about the period in history in which the ancient Chinese existed, and a little bit about each of the first three Chinese dynasties. Are you ready to blast into the past? Ready? Let's go! Ancient Chinese culture is one of the oldest and longest lasting in our world's history. It took up a large portion of what is today China on the continent of Asia. If you look at a modern map of Asia, ancient China began along the eastern part of the continent. What makes ancient China different from most of the other ancient civilizations around the world is that it is continuous or ongoing. This means ancient China developed into the modern country of China we have today. Historians are people who study history. They often can't agree on when an ancient culture's time period begins and ends. For our video, we will discuss ancient Chinese civilization and cultures from 2020 BC to about 246 BC. The earliest written records from the ancient Chinese culture go back all the way to 2020 BC. Ancient Chinese history is broken up into time periods called dynasties. Each dynasty lasted as long as a particular family ruled and was named after them. We will take a brief look at the first three Chinese dynasties. The Chia dynasty, 2000 BC to 1600 BC, the Shang Dynasty, 1600 BC to 1046 BC, and the Shou Dynasty, 1046 BC to 256 BC. The first ancient Chinese dynasty was the Chia Dynasty, which lasted about 500 years. During this time, ancient China had 17 emperors. An emperor is similar to a king. They ruled over all parts of the government, the people, the army, and the land. The Chia people were mainly farmers and knew how to make clay pottery, bronze tools, and weapons, and silk. Silk is one of my favorite fabrics, and it is a fabric made from the cocoons of silk worms and is still prized for its beauty, strength, and smoothness. What we now know about the Chia dynasty comes from written records that were found dating all the way back to the period when the second dynasty, the Shang dynasty, existed. Some historians actually don't think the Chia people were real and that they were made up by the Shang people as sort of a myth or folk tale. Historians who do believe they existed, however, use artifacts dating to the Chia time period as proof that they existed. An artifact is an object like a bowl, tool, or other item found from a time in history. It's an interesting debate or argument. Historians continue to do research and learn new things about these people each day. The second Chinese dynasty was the Shang dynasty. The Shang dynasty lasted over 600 years and was led by 30 different emperors. During this time, the Chinese people lived mainly in small villages that were organized along the Yellow or Huang River. The Shang dynasty started as a large family clan. This is a group of families that are related and often thought of as one big family. Think of all of your aunts, uncles, and your cousins. It can include a lot of family groups. Historians know about the Shang Dynasty because they left a written record on bones, turtle shells, and even some human bones of their own ancestors. These bones were known as oracle bones and were used as a kind of fortune-telling tool. This dynasty also invented a new way to make bronze objects, and they were especially good at making bronze tools and weapons. Eventually, the Shang dynasty was taken over by the next family, and the Shou dynasty began in 1046 BC. The third and last dynasty we will examine today in this video is the Shou Dynasty. This dynasty lasted longer than any other Chinese dynasty, from 1046 BC to 256 BC, which is 790 years. 
Because they were battling a group of people from the north called Mongolians, they started what became the Great Wall of China. It started as large mounds of dirt and rock to help protect them from the invading armies. The show also began to use iron, which is stronger than bronze. This helped make stronger weapons and better farming tools. They also began a form of government that was very organized. The wealthy owned the land and allowed peasants or poor people to farm it. The government created sections of land in a pattern of Chinese symbol of water that looks very much like a tic-tac-toe board. The square in the middle was farmed for the government so they could save up some of the crops for times of war or disaster. It's always fascinating to learn about ancient cultures. In this video, you learn some interesting facts about the ancient Chinese cultures. Can you think of any similarities to our modern world? What are some differences you can think of? To learn more about ancient Chinese art and religion, watch Ancient History, the Ancient Chinese Part 2. If you would like to learn more about other ancient cultures, check out all of our other history videos and learning games. Remember to think about the past and connect it to the present. And to always be clever. Hey.